Welcome to the porcelain and ceramics video series. In this first video, we're going to be looking at AB grade porcelain. So what is ceramic? Ceramic is a general term that describes any article made of natural clay, mixed in variety of formulas with water and sometimes organic materials, shaped, decorated, usually glazed and hardened by heat. The composition of clays used, type of additives, firing temperature and duration determine the quality and the hardness of the end product. Because these variables can be widely adjusted, there are many different types of ceramic. Therefore, ceramic is a broad category that includes pottery, earthenware, terracotta, stoneware, porcelain, fine china, bone china, paper clay, etc. as subcategories. So what is porcelain? Porcelain is a ceramic material made by heating materials generally include kaolin in a kiln to temperatures between 1200 and 1400 degrees centigrade or 2200 and 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. Porcelain is a combination of clay, or kaolin, a primary clay known for its translucency, feldspar, silica, and quartz, but other materials may be added. Porcelain can be divided into three main categories, hard paste, soft paste, and bone china. The most significant difference between porcelain and other ceramics is its translucency. After the firing process, porcelain becomes very white and translucent, which allows light to pass through it. All other ceramics are opaque and block light. Another unique property of porcelain is the ringing sound it makes when struck lightly. So what are the different grades? Due to the fact that ceramics in general are made of a natural material, there will almost certainly be some sort of defect in the finished product. There are two categories of defects, flaws and damage. Flaws are defects such as visible marks or inclusions made during the manufacturing process. Damage describes defects made through handling, storage and cleaning, and these include nicks, cracks, scratches, and wear. Here is a list of the checkpoints Sophist use when inspecting porcelain. I'm not going to go through each one of these, but you can pause to check this list for yourself. So let's have a look at the different quality grades and the definitions of. So grade A. Now, porcelain can be classed as grade A if none of the defects listed in the previous slide exist on a product. It's then classed as an excellent product, grade A. Grade B can be defined as if the product has between two and four defects from the list, it is classed as OK, or grade B. Grade C, on the other hand, is if the product has six or more defects from the list, it is classed as a poor quality product, or a grade C. Let's have a look at some of the common manufacturing problems. Cracking and warping during drying. To avoid cracking during drying, keep the clay walls and floors as even as possible. Avoid S cracks by compressing pot floors during throwing. The thicker the wear, the longer the drying process should be. Dry objects evenly from all sides. This is especially important with tiles and plates. Part of the drying process includes the wear shrinking. Cracking from thermal shock. To avoid thermal shock, do not heat or cool the kiln too quickly. Do not allow cool air into the kiln too early, such as opening the kiln lid while the wear is still too hot. If you hear pinging from inside the kiln, the kiln is cooling too quickly. 
The pinging is the noise of cracking occurring. Close the lid or door and shut any dampers. Do not put fired ware, even ovenware, into an oven or microwave if the ware is damp and do not put ware into an oven or microwave directly from the refrigerator or freezer. Blackening, bloating and carbon coring. These closely related problems happen during the wear's first firing. They are caused when the naturally occurring carbon in the clay is not able to burn off properly. To avoid all of these defects, raise the temperature slowly during the biscuit firing and if you are firing in a fuel burning kiln, do not allow the kiln to go into reduction. Provide plenty of oxygen for the flame. Blebbing. Blebs are air pockets that are caught in the clay body when the ware was being shaped. During firing, the air swells up like a balloon under the surface of the clay. To avoid blebbing, wedge the clay thoroughly before using it. Or use clay that has been processed in a de-airing pug mill. And if blebbing is an ongoing problem with a particular clay body, try adding grog or change clay bodies. Although blebs are a clay body fault, they also affect the glaze. Blebbing can cause glazes to pit, pinhole and blister. In the next video, we're going to be looking at ceramic tiles. Tiles are classified with a PEI rating, which indicates the tile hardness. And these ratings are valuable to help and these ratings are valuable to help in tile choice for different projects. The scale ranges from 1 to 5, with 5 being the strongest and most durable. We will cover these 5 ratings so that you have a better understanding of what to specify when purchasing tiles. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series as well as other series on other products that we manage. You can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And you see this little bell symbol don't forget to hit that because that will give you a notification each time we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Soft East and I shall see you in part two.